everyone, hope you are well and having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jen. Please go and smash that subscribe button, it would mean the absolute world to me. In this video, I created this look, which I've gone for a more purpley smoky eye today with a pink matte lip. Um, if you do enjoy this video, please go and smash that like button. Go and follow me on Instagram. It's at just underscore Jen's underscore life. Um, please go and press the bell notification button as that will notify you every single time I upload a brand new video, which currently I am uploading every Sunday at 6pm. I do want to try and start uploading twice a week maybe, maybe on like a Wednesday and Sunday. But yeah, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like how I created this look. And apart from that, let's get into the video. So to start off with, I'm going to go in with my trusty collection, Last Imperfection Concealer in Fair One. And literally I'm just going to Go all over my blemishes, any red marks, anything I just want to conceal over, like so. On my nose, a bit on my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with the another collection, Last in Perfection, but in Extra Fair Zero. And this is just going to go under my eye just to brighten my under eyes up and I like to put it at the end and go up because it makes you basically brings you lifts your face up so you look more awake and then once I've done all that I'm going to go in with the revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in F6. This is just one that the foundation I use just on like a daily basis. If I'm going to work, for example, or something that I don't need like a high-end foundation for as you can see it is quite like my skin but i will be warming the face up and putting some color in with contour bronzer highlight blusher that sort of stuff just Keep going as long as you need until everything's blended in. And I'm going to be using my mirror just to double check that everything's blended and how I want it to be. As you can see, it's all blended in nicely now. And then I'm going to go in with the next palette again, which for anyone who's not seen me before, this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette. It's got one highlighter shade which is this one, which obviously you can see I've used three powders and then obviously all your contour colours. And I'm just going to go in with the Spectrum AO5 brush. Just going into the first three and then 
just going to bump my, my the top of my ear down towards my mouth. As you can see, it's now bringing some more colour to the face. You can go as dark as you want, you don't you can go as you don't have to put as much on. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. So once that's done, I'm gonna go in with this brush which I don't actually know where it's from and just blend all that in. That's all done and then the next thing I'm going to go in with is the Revolution Girls Best Friend Triple Baked Highlighter which looks like this which I've now used in quite a few of my videos but it's the one highlighter that I really enjoy using. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a more high end one soon. But as you can see, that glow just do your cheekbones, some down your nose. on your chin and Cupid's bow and then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush which is a really nice like peachy colour but as I don't know if you can see it has got some like gold sort of flecks in going in with the Real Techniques blush brush well, it just looks like this, as you can see, it's well used. And then just put that on the cheeks. As you can see, it is very glowy. Just bring some more colour to the face. Alright, so. Now I'm going to go in with the collection Primed and Ready invisible setting powder going in with the real techniques powder brush and just going all over just to make sure everywhere's set and blended So once all that's done and I'm happy with it, I'm going to go in with my brows. To start off with, I'm just using the PS Brow Pencil by Primark. I'm just going to brush them up, get them to how I want them. I do usually use the which is over there at the moment the got to be glued gel just to stick my hairs up but I only use it if I'm like going out and now with this I just tend usually shape like shape out my the brow to then go in with the knot another product in a minute which I will show you which you will have seen before but as you can see it is very pigmented so you don't need to put a lot of pressure on so that's one brow done very happy with that and by the way guys this 
eyebrow pencil was literally like £2.50 two from, like I said, Primark and it is probably one of the best eyebrow pencils I've ever used, but I've never really been able to afford the more expensive, like high-end ones, but this one is very good for £2.50 and then the next one I'm going to go in with is again from Primark but it's a 3 in 1 brow pencil so you've got the brow pencil here you've got a brow powder here and then the brow gel I don't tend to use the gel because it makes my eyebrows look a lot darker than I'd want them to be but I'll actually just go over the in the gaps with the pencil because it's a waxy sort of pencil just to let them how I want and remember guys brows are sisters not twins so if they don't look exactly the same don't worry about it so once I'm happy with them I will then go in with the powder which just looks like this just a dome shape and I'll just go over any gaps that need filling in any harsh lines that need blending out a bit but as you can see that's literally top me a couple of like a minute and my brows are done and that's just using the Primark stuff and that brow this one was I think it was about 250 three quid so it's not actually still very cheap for what it is so once they're done I'm gonna go in with the Morphe which not gonna lie I think it's fake because I ordered it off a random website, but this is the 35G Bronze Goals and it just looks like this. So it's got like some purples, some like brown, neutral, blues, but today I'm going to go in with like all the purples and do a purple look on the eye. To start off with, I'm using the Naked 5, I think it's from a fake palette but hey hair hey, don't matter and I'm literally just going to go in with this colour here this top one just go in with the transition colour just to start off with to be honest it has got quite a lot of pigment for what well, probably is a fake palette sorry if i'm looking that way it's because i'm currently using my boyfriend's phone and as it's the euros everything's going off because he's got an app on his phone so as you can see that's done with the transition for now I quite like starting off at the corner because I can then build it up instead of starting in the in the corner because I quite like the outer corner being a bit more smoky and dark as probably so does everyone. Just having a it's I can't remember what the brand of juice is, but it's like a blue juice with Sprite and vodka. Don't recommend drinking for you under 18s out there. So once all that's done, I'm going to go in with, I think, 
this colour to darken the crease up a bit. Just going in with the same brush, just this part of the shadow. As you can see, it is darkening it up a lot more. Just underneath that transition colour. And then with the Spectrum R06 brush, which just looks like this. I'm then going to go in with this colour, which is a dark, like purpley maroon colour. Now I'm just going to go in in the crease and just start adding the purple. I didn't see it's not stops it a very pigmented colour but it's buildable as you can see I don't know if you can but the purple is building up and then going on to my next eye just building that main purple up so now that's done I'm going to go in with this the body shop brush which is the N93E I don't know if that's going to focus no and I'm just going to go in with this darker colour here. And start darkening the crease up. I feel like this one. It's got eyeshadow over the bed. Just to get that purple showing so once you're done with that I'm gonna go back in just over the lid do a bit of a halo eye. Now it's time to I'm gonna go in with the duo fiber eye brush just to blend that concealer onto the eye. Probably not the best, uh, the best brush to use, but it will do. It's blended out quite nicely. Now on to the next eye. I also hope you're enjoying my content, guys. I'm trying to do my best to, obviously, I'm... Um, just getting started in this but I'm hoping that you're enjoying what I'm like creating and I hope you're not getting bored and now I'm gonna go in with the other side of the brush that I used at the start and I'm gonna go in with this colour here which is more of like a shimmery colour and I'm just gonna 
dab my brush in and just start building on the lid. Let me know in the comments what if like you've got any videos that you'd like to see from me because I am trying to do different types of videos. So as you can see the purple is coming out now on that lid. Obviously I'm um, starting in like makeup and doing different kinds of makeup that I think you all might want to see you might want to try and recreate but then I'm hoping that in a few months like a year's time hopefully once my following's going a bit I want to start making more like vlog content and um different channels like getting that if you all want to meet my boyfriend doing like a like the boyfriend tag and like day in the life and like clean with me is just different sort of videos like that for you all so yeah once that is done and i'm happy and you're happy with it i'm gonna go in with if i can find it I seem to have lost it somewhere. Uh, there it is. The Domed Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. I'm just going to go and blend that all out. So yeah, I do want to start creating more like different sort of content for you guys I am going to hopefully try and get a video up twice a week soon maybe on like a Wednesday and Sunday maybe just to get the content out for you guys so once the eyes are done I'm going to go in with the W7 Flirty Eyes Full Slash Effect Mascara, which like I said in, I think it was my previous video, the packaging is just beautiful. And I'm just going to go over my lashes with this, obviously. Just to get that. nice effect my lashes are extremely short so i just got that all over my finger So once all that is done, as you can see, I've not gone like full up with like, eyelashes and everything. But once that's all done and you're happy with it, I'm going to go in with the collection Primed and Ready Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray. Let's give it a shake and spray. Fan it off a bit and then I'm gonna go in with the it's just called Make Me Up Matte Liquid Lipstick and I can't tell you the shade. It just says AK001563. Don't know whether that's from this or not. But as you can see it's just very nice and like nudie pink. I do that to smell really nice as well. Oops. 
so yeah so this is the finished look i really hope you guys like it really hope you enjoyed this video if you did go down below smash that subscribe button like this video if you enjoyed it comment on any future videos that you would like to see from me and apart from that i will see you next week in my brand new video and yeah see you later bye